Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy Gretchen and today I wanna share with you one of my favorite features in Lightroom, the auto import photos feature. This has saved me so much time in the past and because I've had issues with my phone, talking to my PC, I'm gonna show you the workaround that I did today and it works flawlessly. So normally with an Apple phone, and especially if you have an Apple computer, your photos will go automatically from your phone and right into your computer. But I have had some problems with that, and you are able to do that on a PC with Windows, but I've downloaded off all the software, and for whatever reason, ever since I upgraded to Windows 10, I believe I am on whatever the latest version is in 2018, my computer and my phone are not talking to one another, so I am not able to just automatically up the, upload those photos like I used to be able to do. So I needed to come with a workaround. So right now when I plug in my phone to my computer, it also has a hard time uh, uploading those photos. And I don't know if it's, if it's Lightroom that has the issue. I don't know if it's the Apple PC that has the issue that it's not able to connect, but oftentimes my computer is not able to find those photos that are on my uh, my phone and it drives me crazy. It takes me so much time to just try and upload the, fo the photos from my iPhone. So hopefully this workaround will work for you if you guys are running into the same issue. Now, if you just want to use the auto import feature and you've never done that and you're using uh, a Mac computer and an iPhone, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. It's basically the exact same thing. It's just you are going to be pointing to a different folder. So that's really the only difference here. Uh, the PC to Apple or the iPhone to the PC does have an extra step because I go ahead and I use my Dropbox folder with that. So you guys, let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how I came up with my system. All right, so the first thing that I, I go ahead and do, I just wanna show you these photos right here are all photos that I just recently took with my iPhone and they are all in this auto import photo uh, folder that I created. So the one thing that you want to make sure and do if you've got an iPhone and, or you could even do this with an Android, I'm not sure exactly what the difference is between an iPhone and an Android as far as uploading your photos automatically to your machine. I don't know if it's hard to do or easy to do, but uh, the steps are easy once you know where your photos are going on your machine. The, virtually the steps are going to be the exact same. So hopefully that will make sense as we go along. The first thing I do on my phone is I go to my Dropbox app and I make sure that I am downloading all my photos into their camera upload. So let me grab over my Dropbox here. And right here you can see that I've got my Dropbox folder and in my Dropbox folder is the camera uploads. Now this is a folder that Dropbox has automatically created when I uh, started the setting. So you just need to go to your settings in Dropbox and you can start your camera uploading all of the images. On my phone right now and I'm inside my Dropbox, this is my homepage in my Dropbox app and I wanna show you how you can turn on your camera upload uploads and essentially all it's doing is anytime you would access Dropbox it's going to automatically start downloading your images from your um, iPhone album on your phone right into Dropbox so you can access it on any computer and so that's what we want to have turned on if you don't already so I'm going to show you how to do that. Down in the bottom you can see that there's an account icon. I just want you to click on that account icon and you're, it's going to take you to the account page. You can see my name and underneath that it says camera uploads. So you're gonna click on camera uploads if yours is off. If yours is on, that's just gonna take you to the settings. But if yours is off, go ahead and click on it. And then you can see the option, mine's green because it's on. And if yours is gray, go ahead and turn that on and then you are able to change some of your settings there. Um, I definitely want it to upload my videos, so I have that option as well. Uh, and you can see that I've got JPEG, and you can just see the settings that I chose. So you can go ahead and uh, mess with that, but you definitely wanna turn it on for this to work. 
I've gone ahead and I've done that. And the reason why there's no folders in this images is because they've already been uploaded and I will definitely show you how that works as well. But on my phone, my Dropbox has gone through and it's downloaded all the images on my camera roll. So that is the first step that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your uh, photos are all getting downloaded on to Dropbox. Now, if you choose a different file on Dropbox, just make sure that you know what file all of your photos are at. I have chose to just use the default, which is the camera uploads. Now, I'm gonna open up, I'm just gonna move this off to the side real quick. I am going to open up my file. I'm gonna go to file. If you're on a, a Mac, it should be under maybe the Lightroom. I'm not entirely sure, but what you wanna do is you wanna find your auto import. And I'm gonna go to my auto import settings. So if you've never done this before, this enable auto import is gonna be grayed out and you're not gonna be able to check it. You've got to fill in this information first and then you're gonna be able to check it. So the first thing that we wanna set up is we want to let Lightroom know which folder we want it to watch. Okay, so I just went in and I showed you, I'm gonna bring this over again. I want it to look for my Dropbox and my camera uploads because that's where all my photos on my photo, excuse me, this is where all my photos on my iPhone are getting uh, downloaded to this camera uploads. Now I want you to keep in mind uh, when I use this feature, my photos are still sitting on my phone. It's not deleting off my phone. It's just making a copy of those images as a way to back up my files. But I'm just gonna use this system to my benefit to be able to get them on my phone. So this is really supposed to be for backing up, but I'm gonna use it a different way. And the reason why I'm doing that differently is because I'm backing up my, my photos also to Google Drive and then I back up my photos to this uh, photo uh, or this photographs file down here in the bottom and I'll show you that in just a minute. So you want to go ahead and choose the file that you want. Now this is where this step is going to be different if you're using uh, you know, a MacBook to your iPhone, which means wherever your photos are automatically uploading to your machine, if it's like iCloud and then downloads, that's the that's the folder that you wanna choose wherever your photos are automatically getting uploaded to. That's where you wanna choose. So if you're using an Android, wherever your photos are going, that's where you wanna choose. Now the next thing you want to choose a destination. So some of you may want to just leave them in that folder and I believe you can do that. You probably just need to choose the same destination. I, however, want to move my photos into my six terabyte hard drive, which is this photographs hard drive. On this hard drive, I have every digital photo that I've ever taken, except for the ones that I lost, uh, 2011, 12, and 13. Most people will tell you that is the most foolish thing you can do is have all of your photos together because if your, your hard drive dies, you're losing all of those folder, or excuse me, all of those photos. And that is absolutely true. I would never advise you to do that unless you have backups of that hard drive. And I do. This hard drive that holds all of my digital files has a backup, and then that backup has a backup. So I have three copies of these uh, photos that are in these files. Okay, I'm gonna bring that over just so you can kind of see. Um, what I'm talking about. All right, so in this file here, under my photographs, I have got all of the photos that I've ever taken. Now, I have another hard drive that has backed up all of these files, and then I have another hard drive that has backed up all these files, and I've done that because it is the best investment I could ever make because I've lost images and it was so, so devastating. So for me, having a backup of a backup of a backup, so I have three backups basically, or I have one hard drive and then two backups. So I have three copies of every image. That means if I lose one, I have two backups and then I can just get another one and then again, I will have three backups. So I feel like you have to have more than two. That's just the way I feel about it because I've had a tragic accident where I lost some stuff. So by taking all of my, fold, my files from Dropbox 
and putting them into this hard drive where all of my photos reside. I have three backups of all of those uh, photos, so I don't feel like I need to keep them on Dropbox. I also have these photos on the Google uh, backup, but I also know that Google is taking those images and making them smaller, but I don't have to worry about it because I have three full-size copies of those images. So I just want you to be aware that if you are, wherever you're putting your images, I want you to back them up. It is literally the best investment you guys will ever make if you care about your photos. So I'm just going to lay that out there and say that. So please, please do that. So I'm gonna take my photos from this Dropbox, from this camera uploads, and I'm gonna move it into this file right here. So my photographs from 2018, I'm gonna put it in my G phone folder. That's just what I call it. Uh, just to have some phone, ins instead of saying iPhone, you could put iPhone, you could put um, whatever your phone is, whatever you wanna call it. I definitely like to separate out the photos that I'm taking with my iPhone. And then the subfolder is gonna be my auto import. So you can see that I've got my auto imports down here. Now, if I bring over, I'm gonna bring over, um, I'm gonna send a cancel that because I can open it back up. I'm gonna bring over this file once again. I'm gonna click on 2018 and I wanna show you that I am mimicking, my Lightroom is mimicking all these files right here. Okay, sorry, I just need to bring that up one more time. My goodness. So you can see that I am, my, my Lightroom is mimicking all of these folders. So I've got January through May, then I have a client's, and then I have my G phone. And in my G phone, you can see right here, I've got my automatic imports. So when I take a picture with my phone, and then I go to Dropbox and allow Dropbox to upload that photo, it's gonna automatically come into here, and then it's going to automatically move those photos from there into this G phone folder that you can see right here. Okay, and I'm gonna show you this like real time so you can see how it works. I'm just gonna move these to the side and I'm gonna go back to file and I'm gonna open my auto import settings. And now the things down below, you don't necessarily have to do. I don't change any of the information. I don't do anything with the develop settings or anything like that, but you could totally do that. Um, I like to put in keywords later. The one thing that I do like to have is a standard preview. I definitely like to have a standard preview. And then I do like to name my files. So I've gone through and I've created a custom naming system where I've got the date first. So it's the year, the month, and then the day. So this is 2018, 05 May, 04 is the day. And then I've got this custom text where I could put in a custom text if I want, but obviously I don't want to because these are auto import and it's gonna do the same thing for every single photo. So I just have it untitled and then it's supposed to give me the number. You can see that it's doing this random number system. It's supposed to give me the numbers that are from my phone. So let me go down to edit. And you can see here that I've created the date year, month, day, and you can change all this to fit your needs, underscore custom text, and then file name number suffix. So that should be the number that's coming from um, my camera, this image name here. And for whatever reason, maybe with the iPhone, it's a little bit different. You could just do a sequence. I'm not gonna do that because it constantly is uploading. So I'm just going to keep it as that. And then I'm going to hit done. And that's it. Then I'm done. And I want to make sure that I check enable auto import. And then I'm going to hit OK. So now we are going to try this out in real time. And there's a couple things I want you to look for. I want you to look for the photo showing up here and here. So it's going to show up in this section and then it's going to bounce down here. And I want you to see that this five, number five is gonna go to number six because it's gonna add one more photo to there. I also want you to see that the photo is gonna jump into here and then it's gonna disappear. And that's because it's moving to this auto import um, folder. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my camera. And I'm gonna just take a picture, I'll just take a picture of me. So you can see what I'm doing. There we go, it wasn't taking for some reason. 
Now I'm gonna go to my Dropbox, it's on my phone, there's an app, and it's going to upload that photo. Now you're gonna see it pop onto this folder, it's gonna pop in right here. You could hear the little tune from my computer, so it's popping on here, and then Lightroom is automatically detecting that there's a photo in there, and then it's automatically importing it into my Lightroom. You guys, did you see how awesome that was? It's seriously one of my favorite things. So I wanted to make sure that you realized that the only way those photos are actually going to upload from Dropbox is you have to go into the app. So when you're on your phone, let's say you took 20 photos one day and you were out and about and you came home and you opened up your Dropbox, it's your Dropbox is gonna automatically start uploading those photos and then they're gonna automatically upload to your computer. So it's really that simple. And you can see that I've got the date here because it's May 4th and then it's uh, untitled because I obviously didn't have a title there. I could choose to title all of my, let me, let me go ahead and do that. You could choose to title all of your images maybe like iPhone and I'm gonna do a dash just so it separates the number and that way, uh, when it comes in, it's gonna have an iPhone and then you know it's an iPhone, but you can always change these later. You can always click on the image, do an F2, sorry, put G again, hit F2, and then you can go in and put, like let's say I'm gonna put selfie, and then click OK and you can see that I got a selfie and then that number stays the same based on my settings. Okay, so you could totally do that. Let me do this one more time and I'm gonna show you since I changed the name there. So I'm gonna take a picture of my screen this time. Whoops. And one thing I want you guys to realize just as I'm going to my Dropbox and letting it download or upload, whatever the word is, that your photos when I don't, did I, I don't know if I explained this before, but your photos from Dropbox, they're going to stay in your photos album on your phone. When you upload them, it doesn't move them. It's just copying those images. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. It does that with your Google as well. So it is uploading right now. You're gonna see it hop in here. Let me see, should hop in there. Here it comes, there's the photo I just took, now it's gonna go away and you're gonna see that it's gonna pop right into my Lightroom. There you go, that's the photo that I just took of my screen and you can see now that it's got a different name on it that I've named it iPhone with the dash and then the number. So just letting you know that you can uh, make that however you want or you could just have it like you don't even need to change the name at all and you can just do that later once you have all your photos in there. I just wanted to let you know that it is an option to rename uh, your photos or put in key keywords and tags as they're coming in. Anyway, you guys, that is my one of my favorite features. There's a lot of things I love about Lightroom, but that's one of my favorite features. So hopefully if you're not using auto import, you will start using it because as you can see, you guys, it is saving me a ton of time. Anyway, you guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Hopefully I made sense, but sometimes I'm thinking with a Lightroom mind and some of you I know have never used this piece of software. So if you have any questions, please ask me and I will definitely help you the best that I can. Thank you guys so much for being here and I really hope that this was helpful. I'll catch you in the next one, you guys. Bye.